And now your exclusive Storm Team 3 forecast from KTVO. Well, after some strong winds for today, those winds will be decreasing for tonight. Colder temperatures are returning. Big temperature differences, I will say that. And we're looking at some snow coming in for the weekend. But right now, let's take a look at the KTVO Skycam that's located on top of the Samaritan Hospital in Macon. Brought to you by Heritage House Realty and Culver Stockton College. Temperatures in Macon are into the 50s right now with very light winds across across the area with mostly clear skies. It's a beautiful sunset out there tonight. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, take a look outside. Mostly clear skies across southeast Iowa and into northeast Missouri. Nice evening shaping up. So temperature wise, we're looking at about 55 degrees right now with calm winds, but still looking at those dew points around 20 and the humidity levels in the 20s. So still feels very dry in the atmosphere. Uh, those winds are going to continue to remain calm and light as we're heading into the rest of the evening and overnight. So that is a good thing. But temperature is 48 degrees right now in Ottumwa. Winds are out of the north northwest at around 7 miles per hour. So light winds for tonight and really as we're heading into Thursday. Thursday night, though, they're going to start to kick up once again. We'll see about 5 to 15 with gusts near 20 miles per hour through tomorrow night and throughout Friday. And uh, that's uh, um, anticipation for that or not really anticipation, but that's before that frontal boundary moves through is going to be bringing us some colder air and some snow in the forecast. We had uh, severe weather on Monday. Now we're ending the week on a cold note and snow pushing in. So temperatures over the next 12 hours into the mid 30s by 3 a.m. 35 degrees at 7 a.m. with mostly sunny skies. So temperatures for tonight, we're looking at about 33 degrees. Uh, average for this time of year is about 26. So well above average northwest winds remaining light around five miles per hour. So throughout Thursday, we'll start to see those clouds increasing. And we're actually kind of sandwiched in between two little systems off to the south, bringing chances for some showers and isolated thunderstorms near I-70 and south into Missouri, uh, into very north northeastern portions of Iowa into Minnesota and Wisconsin, bringing some snow. So we're kind of stuck in the middle here with dry conditions for right now. However, as we're heading into Friday, those clouds will continue to increase. And here comes the next storm system that's going to be pushing in after mid Midnight looking like right now into Saturday. So highs for tomorrow, we're looking at about 58 degrees with east winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So how is that weekend looking? Well, much colder and those snow chances. 30 degrees as your high on Saturday with snow likely and on Sunday 37 with partly sunny skies and a second system pushing in late Sunday night and into Monday and you've got it, another chance of snow. 37 degrees as your high on Friday. So that's a big 20 degrees difference uh, from Thursday and into Friday. Late Friday night to Saturday, that's that snow. Right now, things could change, but we're looking at a couple inches of snow possible. Uh, this is Wednesday, and that's not going to come in until Friday night, so things could change on the track of that. So we'll keep a very close eye on that. On Monday, 36 degrees with a 60% chance of a rain-snow mix. Overnight lows falling from the 20s to the teens over the weekend. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at KTVO.com. We go from one extreme mm -hmm. to the other. It's going to be a big slap in the face. It definitely sure. is with temperatures the in the 30s and then overnight lows into the teens. Not looking forward to it. Uh, again, you and what me can both. we do about it, right? There's nothing we can do. Just deal with it yeah. and complain about it. Thanks for <laughs> Coming up next.